Perdue and Chris Dudley will jump it at center. Starting center Sam Bowie out for the net. Starting center Bill Cartwright out for the bull. Perdue wins. Pressure defense by Chicago. New Jersey will turn the ball over. 17 turnovers per game. The man. We've got two good ones up there. And Bernard King is coming off the bench now. There's the double team. You see they're going to be the open jump shot. And B.J. Armstrong will make that all night. So to George was in the Chuck Daly doghouse recently, not playing at all. Now he finds himself starting as Petrovich gets his first jumper of the night. Excellent catch and shoot player. Normally Michael will chase him off that shot and got hung up on the screen. They don't double, but Jordan gets rid of it quickly. Here's Pippen. Stripped away and a nice play by Morris. Chris Morris has great hands. A three-on-one break was blown by the Nets. That's where you just got to make the simple play. Nice move, Pippen to Jordan. It's a four-point play, Bob. You give away a layup on one end after a great defensive play, and then you give Michael a dunk on the other end. The Nets cannot make those kind of plays if they hope to win this game tonight. And they get the mismatch. Coleman takes it inside. Not going to be much of a factor here. Now nine seconds. Jordan with the drive. Dudley with the block. He had four blocks against the Knicks. Petrovic, nice fake. He does a great job with the ball fake but also lost their point guard, Kenny Anderson, with a broken hand. They say he'll be out at least two weeks. Grant from the baseline. Jordan posting Petrovic, 10 to shoot. There's a triple team into Purdue who couldn't handle it. The turnover goes to the net, Petrovic. There's that ball fake again, Bob. Did you see him? Free Scotty Pippen, that's twice in the game. Watch the ball fake here. You shooters out there, watch him use the ball fake. Boom, and Scotty buys it. Now he gets his feet together and buries the shot. That's just excellent play. Walker, they want him to take that shot. Yeah, but see, that's where you miss B.J. Armstrong. When you bring him in for defense, you're going to make him make that open shot. Jordan started this break by tipping the ball out. It didn't go to Walker. It went to New Jersey, and the Nets have their second lead of the game, and Petrovic has eight points. Jordan only four early. Well, normally, Michael Jordan takes Petro right out of the ball game. Oh, how about that one? the foul you can't let him spin baseline you've got double team help coming so you cannot allow him to go baseline it doesn't do any good to run a double team over there if you're going to allow the guy to go baseline jordan bad pass petrovic oh pippen made him miss that shot the fear of scotty pippen blocking that shot this week they just had uh, the new york knicks We've had some of the tougher games over this last period of uh, three or four days. Armstrong, with that interception, a few days has not given him an opportunity to be shot. Great year. I like his chances. Me too. You and Mr. Clinton. Jordan. Bullet pass to Grant. Seems like somebody steps up. One, either Jordan, Pippen, or Grant. At some point or another. Well, it's tough to contain all three of them at the same time. So when one gets going and you try to cool him down and use the other guy or one of the other two steps up. Petrovic, 5 of 7. Michael Chicago turnover. Michael's got a little frustrated right now. Petrovic is scoring at this point in time. He came off a nice screen. And you can see Michael is trying to take the challenge. He's chirping a little bit now. The steal by Petrovic. Take George. And then you end up making the bad play. So you turn a great defensive play here. Excited for the New Jersey Nets at this point. There's that trap. Coleman into Dudley. Punched away by Jordan. Back to Grant. Now Pippen. Pippen from 17 feet. Scotty can't buy one tonight. Was he 0 for 5 from yeah. now? And 0 for 4. And he hasn't made one yet. But that was a 3 by B.J. Armstrong. And the Bulls. Take George in trouble. Puts up the prayer. Batted out of there. Oh, nice play by B.J. Oh, look at Michael Jordan's jam. That play every time I get used to, I think I'm used to Jordan. I see that. <laughs> Nightmare time. Three fouls on Dudley, by the way. Jordan hard to the hoop, kicks it out to Armstrong. What's the shot they end up getting? A prayer at the buzzer. Not answered. Petrovic can't handle it. But Dudley makes a great rebound and hits Petrovic in the ankle with the pass. Ahead to Purdue, who saved it. Back to Petrovic. Hey. 
The double clutch, and he'll drain that one from 13. Wanted the foul. Petrovic has 12. At home and on the road, he's got to go on the West Coast. Bulls have four seconds to shoot. Now two. Jordan for three. At the buzzer. Count it. Yes. Eight seconds for Jordan. Drives past Addison. Between three defenders. Let's take a look at vintage Jordan. Well, he's so quick and explosive. Two dribbles, and he gets all the way to the basket. Just a sensational play. See, I think that's more sensational than a dunk. Bernard King about to get into the ball game for well, Neil Robinson's got to play Michael Jordan right now. They're going to have to double him because he's going to go right into the post. And leave Tucker for three. Rimmed it out. Nice tip in by Michael Jordan. Ten to shoot. Jordan trying to get past to Neil Robinson. Nice pass to Pippen's first basket of the night. Pippen from the college three-point line. Five to shoot. Williams from 18. Rebound. Morris Petrovic. There's that pump fake again with the ball. And to George for the lay-in. I don't know how many times I've seen Petrovic do that tonight, but he freed up Tate George that time. The defender flew by, made the nice play. Simple, fundamental basketball. Eight-point goals lead. Jordan. From 15, Michael has a quiet 19 today. Jordan didn't see the pass, but recovered. Good defense by Tate George. Armstrong open. Why do you need shooters? New Jersey coming down must really score. They're down nine. The clock working against them. Petrovic on the drive. He's fouled by Purdue, who stepped into his way. Petrovic. Well, he's really learned how to play the NBA game. It took him a while. He was a great player over in Europe, and it just took him a while to get into the feel of this game. He's become an excellent big guard in this league. There's that double team. They run right at him. Dudley catches the air ball, and there's a foul! Oh, boy! Oh, what a late call! Oh, boy! Wow, the ball was rebounded before the call was made. Jordan has 19, make it 20 points. Chicago, Michael shoots two. And it looked as though there was not even any contact on Jordan's arm as it was. Nevertheless, game resumes. Well, there's and a Jordan commits the foul. That, that's, that's what upset you as a player. That, that's a make-up call right there for the one at the other end. But you know what? It doesn't make up for that because no. you've given the Bulls two points. Well, Dick Levetta knew that. Quickly whistled it the other way and sent Petrovic to the line. In case you won. Against Walker. Not, not inclined to do so against Jordan. Coleman against Scott Williams. Coleman loses the offensive board. Jordan is fouled in the back. A five from the line. Five and six. In a, in a shorter period of time. Petrovic leads the league in three-pointers, but the Nets are 0 for 3 tonight. That's the ball game. Scotty Pippen runs down the loose ball. Smart play by Scotty to give the ball up, and I'll tell you why. He throws the ball to an 87% free throw. He hits both of these, which he doesn't. Michael backed off the line. He didn't stay with his shot. He looks as though he's very tired tonight during his whole ball game. Now, don't get me wrong. He's near a triple-double anyway, but he has not played with the enthusiasm that we've often seen. And it's the dog days, time. Coach. It's the dog days. They're waiting to get into the playoffs and realize that they're going to be judged. 87-80, the Bulls get the Nets by seven. The Nets played without Sam Bowie or Kenny Anderson, but remember, the Bulls have been playing without Cartwright and Packard.